Welcome to Island Outdoors One. Hope you're doing well. And today I'd like to share with you the Schrade USA Old Timer 8OT Senior Stockman. Okay, this knife was produced from 1959 to 2004 and marketing started in 1960 and the advertisement was for the 2OT and the 8OT and the advertisement said here is a knife with all the old-fashioned qualities of superior workmanship good looks and high utility value it's the old-timer a knife like granddad had with more cutting strength than any other knife made in many, many years. Handmade, hand honed, and edged, the blades are made of fine, hardened, and tempered cutlery steel with genuine bone handles and solid brass linings. Attractively gift packaged in a red, in a redwood hinged box, five inches by two inches by one and a quarter inches. From another dealer ad I found, it said 22 separate parts, 108 hand operations make old timer great. So, it was a lot of steps involved in making this knife. To help you date these knives, you can narrow it down a little bit with uh, using the stamp they had on the tangs. And uh, from 59 to 73, they had the Schrade Walden tang stamp and in 1973 they quit using the Schrade Walden tang stamp and went to the Schrade New York USA stamp and they put the 8 OT stamp on the back of the blade and then they moved the 8 OT to the front of the blade making it a three line stamp and then they mo removed the New York part of the tang stamp to make it a two line tang stamp and it was that way until from 73 to 2004. Uh, so I'll just show you what I have. I don't have any of the Schrade Walden ones, but I do have a. There's the three stamp line or three line stamp. So that that narrows it down to. You know, 73 to 2004. This one is a three line stamp. Schrade, New York, USA, 8 OT. Uh, this one is a two line stamp. They got rid of the New York and moved 8 OT up and made just two lines. So this would be newer than those first two ones and then this is a two line stamp and if you notice it's a little harder to read and uh, that's because I believe this knife was a factory second and when I don't think the camera will pick that up but it's kind of mashed and there's almost a a mark in the center of this stamp and it's hard to read it almost looks like a 3 OT instead of an 8 OT but I think it was a factory second and I say that because if you look on the back you can see the giant gap right here and uh, yeah I bought this used but that giant gap is because if you notice how skinny that back spring on the top here is, but the blade stock is thicker than that back spring, so that forces the the liner and scale away from the side of the the spring. But surprisingly, it has no blade play. It's solid, and when I got this knife, it, that was packed full of dirt and lint, so it was hard to tell when I bought it. And you can actually see through 
through that gap. It's wide open. But it's in such good shape. I mean, it has been used and has some patina, but it looks like it had barely been sharpened and used, and it's nice and tight, and it it kind of grew on me. I, I kind of like the factory second example here, and it's totally functional. You could use this, and it'll last forever, probably. But that's a factory second, and uh, one of my knives. Let me tell you a little more about this. Uh, they used 1095 carbon steel up until the end of days and that's the, right before they closed the factory and then they put some stainless blades left over from the Uncle Henry's in these mostly to use up spare parts and get them out of the door get them out the door uh, until then the Uncle Henry 885 was the stainless steel version of this knife and so even if the blades on these don't have the Schrade Plus tang stamp that doesn't mean they're carbon steel so you could get one of these and uh, have stainless steel blades even if it's not marked as such but generally these are all carbon steel knives right up until the end when they started to mix and match uh, parts to to get rid of the parts before they closed so very cool knife you can see we have a clip point main blade and this one has a match strike nail neck full flat grind And we have a sheep foot, a sheep foot blade, and then we have a spade blade, a very good utility blade, and they have saw cut Delrin handles. And again, uh, you either like this color or you hate it probably, but uh, it grows on you. So you have nickel silver bolsters, nickel silver shield, brass pins, solid brass liners, saw cut Delrin handle scales, and uh, just a nice, this is the large stockman. So this is my favorite pattern of all the old timers is this large stockman the 8OT and uh, you can tell I have a few different ones here a few variations we have my factory second one this one is a newer one but I believe it was carried the longest I bought it used off eBay and uh, sharpened it up mosquitoes are out today and you can see it has a really dark patina on these carbon steel blades get a real nice patina and this is what they turn into eventually after a lot of use and you can see this blade has had some sharpenings it's still got a little bit of belly right at the tip but not much but it's just a great knife on this one the spade blade is just a little shorter, uh, narrower than it used to be. It's still nice, nice patina. And the spade blade also has some patina built up on it. And uh, this is the one I usually carry with me a lot. Uh, the other variation was the Mac Match Strike Nail Pull. And this is pretty much brand new shape right here. I don't think this was ever carried. And this one just happened to be one I got a good deal on and uh, added it to my collection. And one more variation I have is
a brand new one and I got the box and everything and you can see after opening and closing a box a lot these little tabs get bent out over the years and I mean whoever owned this before me probably showed it to a ton of their friends and I've shown it to a few, quite a few of mine but uh, this is what the box looked like they came this was probably the 2004 era somewhere around there and uh, you can see it came from Ellenville New York right before they got sold to Ch Taylor Brands and uh, the 8OTS senior pocket knife not much else kind of barcode on the back but uh, this one is the 100 year anniversary and you can see the nice fancy shield 1904 to 2004 100th and uh, so it has an extra shield in it so very nice knife commemorating their company and you can see it's the two line tang stamp like a few of the other ones here but the same quality and uh, these are this one was carbon steel, I'm pretty sure there was, you can see a little patina in spots just from sitting in the box developing on these. But beautiful brand new, or I, I would say like new condition. No one's actually carried it, but where it's been in and out of the box and opened and closed a lot, that's that's not what I call new in box. New in box to me would be something like still in the clam pack that hasn't been touched by human hands, but this is about as close as you can get to that. And uh, yeah, so another nice addition to my collection there. And uh, a lot of times I'll just throw it in my pocket. I, I don't mind a larger folding knife in my pocket, but sometimes I don't want it in my pocket so you can buy these and uh, I think this was from the newer Taylor Brands company but they, they also had these in the uh, USA days but what it is is a horizontal carry for your belt and you just slide your knife in there and they they attract cats and uh, if, if you don't like to put these in your pocket, you can get one of these kind of neat little belt sheaths. And this is a horizontal carry pouch. The knife just slides on your belt and stays in there like that. Works well. I use it. Kind of use it appendix carry on, on myself. I mean, it's right by your pocket anyway, above your pocket. It's kind of a neat option and they also had some that looked similar to this but with a traditional belt loop and I don't happen to have one of those sheaths for these but uh, I'll pick up one sometime but I, I don't mind this it works great I have this style for some of my case knives too and when your belts in there it, it actually there's no danger of this falling out it's nice and snug and uh, it's just a nice handy way to carry this without having it in the bottom of your pocket but uh, that's about all I got on the 8OT Stockman and uh, I really like these knives and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one